ABC 7 has obtained the autopsy report of a man who died while in El Paso police custody. 35 year old Jonathan Rose Eddins was arrested on April 14th and had been at the hospital when he died. ABC 7's Tony Gutierrez joins us live in studio with details from that autopsy report. Tony. Stephanie, the autopsy report revealed Eddins had meth in his system, something the medical examiner said caused his death. On the ground. Jonathan Rose Eddins' manner of death has been listed as an accident by the County of El Paso Office of the Medical Examiner and Forensic Laboratory. Eddins' toxicology report revealed methamphetamine was in his blood. According to the medical examiner's opinion, this was the only cause of death due to the drug's toxicity. The report also revealed the use of physical restraint and electrical weapons did not play a role in Eddins' cause of death. However, Hypertensive cardiovascular disease is listed as a contributing condition to the cause of death, as this could have increased Eddins' risk of arrhythmia. The El Paso Police Department had released body cam footage of this incident to showcase the department's transparency to the public. The video shows police confronting Eddins after he was weaving in and out of traffic. You can't be in the middle of the road. The video also shows Eddins refusing to speak to officers after they ask him to stop. Sir, come here. This led to a physical struggle after the officers attempted to detain Eddins. A stun gun is used multiple times on Eddins, and it appears that he is punched and kicked as the officers try to arrest him. Despite the toxic effects of methamphetamine being listed as a cause of death, the autopsy report says the manner of death is subject to change if new evidence is presented. We reached out to El Paso Police for an update on the investigation, but we did not hear back in time for this newscast. El Paso Police had previously mentioned they had shared the video for the public to see what happens since investigations in cases like this one can, can take up to two years. Reporting live in studio, Tony Gutierrez, ABC7.